Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Bro, hope you're doing well. And in this video, I'm going to explain loop control statements in Python. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. If you find this video helpful, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Your support will help keep this channel running. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about loop control statements. These are used to change a loop's execution from its normal sequence. And there are three we're going to discuss. Break, continue, and pass. Let's begin with break. Break is used to terminate the loop entirely. Now here's a good example of where a break would be useful. Let's say while, true, we're going to continually ask for somebody's name. If they don't type in anything, then we'll continue the while loop over and over again. So let's say name equals input, enter your name. Now, if name, does not equal a set of quotes, that means they don't type in anything, then we will break and break out of this while loop. And let's test it. Enter your name. Nah, I don't think so. I'm too lazy to enter my name. All right, I can see that I'm not going to escape this while loop, so I'm going to type in my name because I give up and hit enter. Therefore, I will break and exit out of this while loop. So a break is used to terminate the loop entirely when it's encountered. Next, we have continue. Continue skips to the next iteration of the loop. Now let's say we have a phone number, phone underscore number, and I will set this equal to, let's say a random phone number, including dashes, one, two, three, dash, four, five, six, dash, seven, eight, nine, zero. What I would like to do is to display this number within the console window without these dashes. This is how to do that using a continue control statement. For I in, phone number. So for each character within our string of phone number, what we'll do is check to see if we encounter a dash character. If i, i is our index, is equal to a dash, then we want to continue and skip over this iteration of the loop. So continue. Then I would like to print whatever our indexes, whatever character we're working on. So if I were to run this as it is, it's going to print each digit on a new line. So with print statements, they will add a new line character to the end of your string. And you can actually change that by adding to the end, comma, end equals, and then a set of quotes. So this will print my phone number without any dashes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. So that's a use of the continue control statement it skips to the next iteration of the loop. Last but not least, we have pass. Pass does nothing. It acts as a placeholder. Let's say that I would like to print the numbers 1 through 20 using a for loop. For i in range 1 through 21. And remember that the second digit is exclusive. So this will iterate once through the digits of 1 through 20. Let's pretend that I'm highly superstitious and I don't want to print the number 13 because 13 is considered an unlucky number. If i is equal to 13, what we'll do is pass, and pass acts as a placeholder and it won't do anything. Else, print i. That's 1. i. There we go. This will print the numbers 1 through 20 and skip 13 because we used the pass control statement, which does nothing. It acts as a placeholder. So everybody, those are loop control statements. They change a loop's execution from its normal sequence. We have break, continue, and pass. So if you would like a copy of all this code, I will post all of this in the comments section down below. But yeah, those are a few loop control statements in Python. Hey you, yeah I'm talking to you. If you learned something new, then help me help you in three easy steps by smashing that like button, drop a comment down below, and subscribe if you'd like to become a fellow bro.